Okay, hi guys. This is how I'm going to teach you how to make a simple butterfly. Um, so this is going to be an easy hack for everybody. And there's also a bonus feature when you're actually making your butterfly. So basically, get a piece of paper. Okay. Fold it. Basically it. So make sure the fold right here. So the little body is right here in the center. And then draw your butterfly pattern or design, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to work on this and then I'll come back to the next step. Okay, so that's done. Now, you might be thinking, it looks different from other butterflies. Duh, because this butterfly is different because all of the world is filled with different types of butterflies. So I figured, might as well make it different. That's what I'm going to do. Now, here's the next step. Cut it. Hello! Now my butterfly's been cut. Now we'll open it. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Smooth out the head. So this is not bad. I like it. Now here's the easy hack one. Um, so this is going to cost like, not costing you anything because it's free. Is that people will just trace it now and just do the mirror effect. But this is my version of how you do it. Especially if you want to get perfect, you fold it back again like that and what you're gonna do is cut up everything what I mean by that is cut up like here the body and the patterns okay so but hold on hold on there's more to it so first let's cut it up Okay, so I cut it up. You're wondering why I didn't cut this one, but this one is saved for later. So, plus you don't need this part of it. So you can just like keep it aside or toss it in the recycling. So what you're gonna do basically is actually use these small pieces to make it into a butterfly. So basically you cut it up into small pieces, like I said, and you're just gonna use it back and forth. So if I wanna put it in a piece of paper, I'll put it on the paper and then when I trace it I can flip it over and do the same design so I've been using this technique for years nobody even knows it so and here's a sample of one of my works see it's beautiful perfect even exactly the same as the, the right and the left so this is why I always cut butterflies in smaller pieces because it's a lot easier and more efficient but it might take you a bit longer but also depends on the patterns itself but i will be personally doing this for a very long time and i will improve but just so you know you don't have to use the same method as i do i'm just giving you guys another option to cut out your butterflies evenly or not or even look exactly the same i hope this video turns out to be very useful for you guys so i'm gonna use it um use this um draw it out and i'll show you what i mean by that so here comes another time lapse yay and um don't forget to use the other half of your butterfly wing to line it up and use that to trace your butterfly so you know where it is and where exactly where the patterns the indoor patterns will be at so i'm gonna trace it around here and let's see almost done and then it's okay that you make it a little rumpy or a little messy it doesn't really matter that's done there now let's check here oh looks like i'm doing fine here so i'm gonna finish up this butterfly and show you that you can do this see how it's done here and then you just got to trace it around, just like I did with this. So I'm going to go back to this again. 
and trace it. So you know where the border is, the whole outline of the whole butterfly wing. And sometimes when you're um, drawing your butterfly, um, you can like change your mind at the last minute so you know what if I add an extra detail here or there, what if I make the wings a bit smaller. It's okay really because it's not perfect. Not every butterfly wing is perfect out in the world. I mean there is hybrid butterflies but they're just as beautiful. So I'm gonna do this. Finish this up right here. There we go. Now let's continue with the time lapse. So that's what it looks like. Ta-da! See? How nice it looks. It looks pretty even. It looks pretty great. Personally, I think this is one of my best butterflies I've done. No offense to this little guy. But I think this is really great. So remember, you can do like anything you want with a butterfly. You can add in a few other like um, designs to it or stuff like that. But this is something that I do. I hope this lesson teach you a new thing about um, drawing butterflies. And it doesn't have to be butterflies, it could be any kind of insect as well. It is really effective and um, a good way to get the whole, um, like, um, how do you call it? Um, perfection that you want it to be, even though it's a little, like, messed up. Like, I messed up around here, do I messed up around here, here, here. But you saw on this whole video that I made some mistakes, but I actually like it because I still get a perfect butterfly front, um, so left and right, kind of frontwards and backwards. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you want to see this, what it looks like fully completed, that will be on my Instagram, maybe, and probably on my Art and Evil app, which you can also download on your iPad or Apple um, device for free. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.